I have always liked the look of pinwheel cards, but thought they looked too difficult to make until recently when I found the Pinwheel Card Die by Helen Griffin for Simply Made Crafts. Hello and welcome to Karen's Creative Cards on YouTube. I am Karen Hashik and I'm going to share five pinwheel cards I made so easily with this die set. Now I don't own many two-sided papers, but I've did find these to design with. My first card is a Christmas card with a belly band and a fun circle from that same die set. Um, this belly band and the circle are made out of a mirror card and embossed and of course all the details on all these cards will be on my blog and links are in the description box as well as the products that I feature. But um, that is the uh, the belly band, of course, slides off, and then you have a pinwheel, and I stamped open there just to be sure the person who gets it knows that they should open it, and then in the inside is a message, um, and it is, of course, my wish for you, peace, love, and joy, one of my favorite um, Christmas stamps. So we have the pinwheel with the belly band. Now you don't have to use a belly band, and you can also put the pinwheel on top of a card. So I have the pinwheel there with an inside uh, place where you can put a message with an open again. And then on the inside, I said celebrate, happy birthday, and you can, it's an easy way to throw a gift card in um, when you're mailing or giving somebody a gift. Now, I just love this card. Um, I uh, don't have that much, as I mentioned, two-sided paper. But what I did was I had this red plaid, and on the back I covered it with this. Um, it's Memory Box Watercolor Woodland Sprigs um, Wide Washi Tape. And um, what's really interesting, I think, about washi tape is this is on the white, and I'll show you that a little bit clearer. And then this is over green cardstock. So it's the same washi tape over green. And I use the stitched um, die, again, I'll show you in a minute, from the set. And then this is over the plaid. So each time you use that um, wide, wide washi tape, it depends on what the paper is, over the green, over the plaid, and over the white. On the belly band is a um, die cut um, shaker. And I'm using the new Maker Forte um, clay embellishments inside so there's marshmallows and peppermints and candy canes and chocolates isn't that fun i just i just love that um, idea and then when you pull it off you once again have a pinwheel and then um, when you open it you see that pretty pretty um, paper created with that um, wide washi tape and i this time i made a pocket and this die is part of that set as well and put another um, uh, gift card inside. So that might be one of my favorites of the cards I created. Although this is another favorite. I just love this card. This is a layered butterfly from Birch Press Designs and um, you can see the stitching in the um, belly band die that you get from them uh, from the set from Simply Made Crafts and I attached that pretty butterfly. You can see that their um, belly band doesn't quite go all the way across, but that's fine. You just attach something in the front or the back. And then again, some really pretty two-sided paper open. And then this time it's a birthday message. Hope your day is wonderful. So those are some of the cards that I created with this easy die set. This is what the die set looks like. You get this large die, and it is 8x8, eight eight. so it doesn't fit through my Gemini, but luckily I saved my Tonic Tangerine for larger dies like this. Um, so you get 
the the main piece it's the pinwheel dot card die from simply made crafts and helen griffin um, very reasonably priced very reasonably priced and i have a link to that of course in the um, description this is the belly band um, and again when you use this one it doesn't go all the way across but that's okay then you put your element on the center and then you get that squiggly circle and a couple other circles and a couple squares so it is a um, very large neat set and very reasonably priced I'm going to show you how to make this card but with some different papers um, this one has an ornament on the front that is also from birch press designs and um, when you pull it off I'm using an idea from uh, Jennifer McGuire where she showed how to make um, belly bands and how to attach ornaments to the belly band so that the recipient can take them off and hang them on their tree or in their home and I thought that was such a neat idea and I'm going to show you how I did that um, I have the layered ornament and then you have a belly band that we're, I'm going to show you how to create and you put a little slot and then you can pull that uh, ornament right off and they can um, hang it so um, that was a really neat idea and then again we have open and then um, on the inside, I have thinking of you at Christmas. So um, that is the card or a version of that that we're going to make. I have two-sided paper here. And I took the main die and I cut it. And you're going to cut down into the side that you don't that you want to be secondary. In other words, in this one here, I cut down into the green side. The main paper that's going to show is on the other side. But to get this to work um, easily, you cut down into the paper, and I want the red to be on the folded flaps. And then from the back, all you do is you fold up, and then you fold down. Okay? And it's, it's that simple. Um, now on the second, you're going to start at the bottom, and then on the second one, you want to make absolutely certain that the second one covers that corner. So if you're going the wrong way, or if you're going from the wrong side, when you do the second one, it won't cover that corner. And so we know now that it is going the right way. Start from the bottom. The second one should cover the corner. And when I tried this the first time, I was like, well, that's not working. And then you, you know, you figure it out. So um, I'm trying to give you tips that I learned. So um, now this is the last one. And you're going to fold down and then fold up. And all those score lines are right in there, so it's very easy to do. And then all you do is, this takes a little maneuvering, okay, I admit it. And also, it works better with thinner papers, but I didn't have any more thinner two-sided Christmas papers. So I, you can make it work. You have to kind of maneuver it a little bit. But this piece here is going to go underneath. Right, so I, okay. So you fold this corner, and then you get this one to go under, and it does work, believe me. Again, it just takes a little maneuvering. And then once you get that in there, you got to kind of push a little. I usually start from the back, I push a little, start from the front, push a little, and it will lay flat, or more or less flat, okay? So again, the um, lighter weight paper does work a little better for that step but um, that works just fine. Now, I like to um, mark on here where this is um, because I'm going to pull that out and stamp the open so the people know that they should pull that open. They might just look and, oh, that's pretty, but, you know, what do I do now? So um, I like to stamp that on there. This red is a little dark, but I think I'm going to be able to see the word enough anyway for them to know they should do it. Otherwise, you could put it on a little tag or, um, but let's see. Yep, you can read it. So I have stamped that. Now, um, I have die cut Thinking of You at Christmas and um, 
for the inside of the card and then this is a Sue Wilson a die and then this rectangle die here with this, these cool cross hatches from Karen Berniston and I noticed on some other ones where I use my favorite glue to glue down the sentiment on the inside but in that maneuvering and pushing I, I raised some of it so now I cut this um, on red paper on top of easy cut adhesive um, from iCraft and Thermoweb and now it's um, sticking down very very well um, even though it's a it's a rather delicate sentiment die so I do recommend that and I love this and use it all the time and then I also have die cut the uh, radiant ornament from Birch Press Designs there's a layer A B and C and um, I cut A and B and the A is out of this craft perfect iridescent red mirror card which I just love that it like reflects the light it's really pretty and then a white and then a green and the green I just cut by hand so that it was uh, solid because A B and C are all patterned on this one I mean you know with things that cut out and then on the back is the C and this is, the back was attached with a glue dot here and here, and then the um, ornament top. And that's what we're going to slide our belly band through. So that is how this gets held in place. And I have those prepared in advance. And I am going to um, attach the sentiment piece on the inside. that now right I think I can. Yeah. <clears throat> um, we are going to take a piece of cardstock that I have cut and um, it is 11 by 1 inch now you can choose what sizes to use, but I uh, figured out that 11 by 1 worked um, for this. And I am going to score it um, at 3 and a qu quarter um, from both ends. Now, a lot of times when you're doing a belly band, you can just kind of fold it around it loosely. But I was I was finding that it, I, I just had better luck if I actually measured and figured out um, where I wanted this to be scored. So it was scored um, straight anyway, so I, I did it that way. And then what you want to do is cut a slot um, from the bottom on one side and the top on the other. And if you just cut up a little bit and then cut like a little triangle to that one, that should work. And I'm doing this about an inch in from the end but again, you know, if you try this, just, you know, do your measuring, you know, and, and see what works for you. Um, and then we're going to fold on the scored lines. And I can see that, I think, it might be a little loose, but let's see what it's, if it works or not. So where I scored was off a little bit, but I think we're still okay. That should be okay. And then we're going to slide this through the back which, like I said, the, the top layers were glued on, but the, the last one, um, I just put a glue dot here and here, and then I attached my ornament top, and with another glue dot, I added the cord. <clears throat> so it slides on, and then we're going to put this onto the card and attach it that way, 
and now we have a um, pretty card with um, an ornament and then when they slide it off they'll see open and when they open it they'll see thinking of you at Christmas and of course inside I'll put a little note and it will say um, the ornament can be slid off and used in your home so I thought that was a really neat idea and I thank Jennifer McGuire for that and I thank the um, brilliant designer of this die set Helen Griffin for a really easy pinwheel um, card that we can make <clears throat> I had a great fun making these easy pinwheel cards and hope, and hope my cards encourage you to give these products and pinwheel cards a try. Thanks for watching, sharing, and subscribing, and thanks too for helping me share the joy of creativity.